All right, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to be discussing the gliding joints of our body. Now, gliding joints allow bones to glide past one another or make small shifting movements between those bones. And so the ones that we are going to cover today are going to be our intercarpal joints as well as our intertarsal joints and then one more our zygapophyseal joints. Now, if this word looks absolutely confusing, don't let it stress you out too much. It's such a complicated name for such a simple joint that is in fact in our body. And so I would encourage you to make sure that you stay tuned to the explanation of this joint, all right? But the first ones we have are going to be our intercarpal joints. If you remember the prefix inter means what? Between. So these joints are between our carpals. And if you remember, we have eight carpals within each hand, right? And so if you don't remember all of those names of those carpal bones, I would encourage you to go back in your textbooks or your notes, or take advantage of this worksheet that's on Patreon and Etsy. I will leave those links in the description below. And make sure you know all of the bones, all the carpal bones, as well as all of the hand bones and the joints of the hand. But the intercarpal joints are going to be gliding joints that are within those carpal bones. And so it only allows for small shifting movements between those carpals. The next one we have are our intertarsal joints. Remember, inter meaning between the tarsals. And we're gonna have seven of those in our foot. Now again, if you don't know all seven of those bones names, I would encourage you to go back into your textbooks or your notes, or take advantage of this worksheet that is listed on Patreon as well as Etsy. Again, I will leave those links in the description below. Now, the zygapophyseal joint, it is such a complicated name for such a simple joint that is within the body. However, it is very important to make sure that you understand this joint because this joint's name showed up in the MBLEX study guide. And if you remember, this is the same organization that creates the MBLEX. So this is FSMTB's MBLEX study guide. So I wanna make sure that you understand what the zygapophyseal joint is. What it is, is it is a gliding joint, meaning that there's only small shifting movements in this joint, but it is in our vertebral column. So on the posterior aspect of the vertebral column, we have facets on our vertebrae. This is also considered a facet joint. And so one vertebrae, the inferior facet of that vertebrae is going to articulate with the superior facet of the bottom vertebrae, right? So you have one vertebrae facet articulating with the other vertebrae facet, and that is considered a zygapophyseal joint. Now, if that is still confusing, because it is kind of a lot of information, the zygapophyseal joint, the superior vertebrae's inferior facet articulates with the inferior vertebrae's superior facet. That's a lot going on, right? So you're like, what the heck is that? What I would encourage you is to check out my Patreon page where I have another video where I cover the zygapophyseal joint. And I wanted to make sure that you knew exactly what this joint is before you went and took the MBLEX because, again, it showed up in the MBLEX study guide. And if it showed up in there in one of the practice questions, there's a good chance that it may show up on the real one. And it wasn't just one of the practice questions answer choices, but it's a good idea to make sure to know it, especially if it showed up in the MBLEX study guide. All right, so I would encourage you, make sure you know these gliding joints. We have the intercarpal joints. Again, these are between our eight carpals. We have the intertarsal joints. These are gonna be between our tarsals and our foot. And then we have the zygapophyseal joint, our joints, which are going to be on the vertebral column, on the posterior aspect of the vertebral column. And it's gonna run all the way up and down that vertebral column. Make sure you know exactly where those joints are, as well as what gliding joints are before you go in and take the inflex. All right, y'all have a wonderful week ahead and I will see you in the next video. Y'all take care.